Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to use Freelandu in Excel. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use data entry form in Excel. In Excel, we have a form command which we can use for creating forms in Excel. To activate the forms in Excel, just go to the file option in the i go to the option menu in the file option right here okay then you select form from the customized ribbon menu list the form is available under the under the command and not in the ribbon drop down just select all command from command form drop down list and search for forms once activated on on selecting the form from the menu tab you will get the custom form that pick all the headers from the sheet as it is fit now let's delve into adding the forms features in a day as so well we can add the form in a day by customizing the ribbon in order to add the form to the home tab just follow the step i'm going to show you here the first step is that just go to the file menu right here now choose option okay once you do that just choose the customized ribbon here so once you do that you will get to the customized ribbon dialog box where we can add or remove the ribbon okay now Select all command. Just I have right to say. Just select all the all command from here. Then search for forms. Okay, I'm searching for forms. Okay, from the F. So just search for forms from the list. Okay. 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 Here is it. Okay. So once once you get there, just just click on the form, then navigate to the new group. Okay, then click on the new group to create a new group in the world in the home menu. Then after creating the new group, then click on what hard. You can see it right here, right here, so that the form will be added under the wall main tab. Okay. Once you have done that, you can now see that the form has been added here in the new group in the home menu. So then click on words. Okay, you can see the form has been added to the world to the home tab main menu as shown in my computer right here. So now let's now delve into how to create data entry form in in Nese. The creation of data entry form in Excel is very simple and easy. Let us understand how to create a data entry form in Excel with some example that I'm going to show you here. I have got this employee template, okay? Template of uh, database right here. In order to create a proper Excel data entry form, we should maintain accurate data in the table so that it will be easier for the end users to add view and edit it okay let's see how to create a normal employee data entry form in Excel. now we have created an employee database with their employee id then last name first name department and uh, the email and the okay now let's see how the excel form is used to add and delete the employee record in the employee database i have on my screen here now adding the adding new employee database what you need to do is so i'm going to show you how to have the new employee employee record in the existing employee database firstly click just click on anywhere in the cell now click on the form button on the home tab you can see right up at the form that i just activated just click on it so once you do that once we click on the form we will get 
the form dialog box pop up okay the form dialog box contain button like new delete restore find the previous find the next the criteria and close now the new which we had the new record to the world to the database the, the delete this delete the specific record of the employee why they restore it and restore the old record for us then the file and the find next it finds the next record for us why they find the previous this find the previous record for us. what then the criteria here it displays the record based on the employee criteria then the close this will close the form window now the scroll bar here we also have the scroll bar here where we can scroll up the scroll up and down to see the record in the feed you can see as i'm scrolling up and down the record in the feed is showing up there okay now now let us add a new employee record by hitting the wall the by hitting the new command button here you can see it. so click on the new command button here now what the next thing is that uh, i'm going to update the feed like the employee id last name first name department and the email so let's say the employee id is one zero zero five seven okay one zero zero five seven okay okay now the last name let's say i can put the last name as thomas okay then the first name as mike okay i'm handing a new employee to this database then i can put the department as what audit then email as what child not okay certain answer okay so now once i have done that once i have done that so i will click on what close button to activate the wall the update you can see right here you can see the new id that i just created you can see it right over here. i have updated the employee record with the specific specified data which will be added to the database as per data wise order therefore new employee record has been added with the new employee update and the emails you can see it right up there so the we can see that the the employee count has been increased okay employee count has been increased to 15 you can see right here so it was one of 14 now it's now one of 15 now let's now delve into how to delete the employee record from this database so what you need to do here is that just select any cell so make sure that you select first select any cell on the sheet okay now click on the form okay on the form button so that we will get the form dialog box open now we can see that the total number hmm, of our record has been updated to 15 right okay now in the form window now click on the command button to search okay to search which employee data needs to work to be deleted using the find and uh, find next or the previous find the previous command button okay so let's say i want to delete the record that i just had it so i'll i'll be clicking on this next until i get to the the record i just had it okay you can see this is the record i just had it now so once i get to get the so now now then i can now click on what delete button to ask me that the the which we, we want to delay uh, display display record will be permanently delayed just click on what okay button you can see the record i just added has been automatically deleted successfully now let's now delve into how to edit and update names in the z data entry form now let me show you how to do that right here assuming that we need to edit and update employee first name okay this first name i did want to update, update this employee first name from the save employee list database we can edit 
and update the employee first name by following this procedure. Now, the one thing you need to do is just first click on the on this the cell which the first name we need to edit. And in this cell, just select the first cell. Mm -hmm. Just select the first cell, which is what the first name. I'm going to want to edit this first name. I will click on this list in list in this first name now this next thing is that click on this form button so now once you do that so that we get the form button dialog box to 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 come up okay now edit the the name so i can edit the name as here let me put as what um james okay let me put it as james okay can see so i edited the name as well james oh okay now the i'll click on what okay button you can see that the first name has changed to to james james okay now point to note when using the excel data entry form always maintain a proper table with appropriate record so that it will be easy for the excel data entry forms template okay and make sure that always select the say before using the form button or ahead is there we throw an error a lot so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the exam function bye and stay blessed